has been compromised and the site's automatic security measures are coming online. Watch out for new daemons. Daemons. Watch out for new no daemons. Shopcat. That's no way to treat your customers. <laughs> oh, or maybe that's what he was saying when he was like, oh, look out for her. <laughs> so what? I just bought some shit of this stuff and then you're like, aha, have some demons. <laughs> what a... What an absolute ass. Um, but yeah, it looks like I can actually just escape now, which is interesting. So that raises the question, do I want to get out or do I want to steal shit? I think that's an obvious answer. No, I might just be... Uh, I might just be uh, playing it safe and get out alive, I think, yes. Um, well, it seems like I might as well poke around a bit. Got to keep this boring shit going. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing really happens on that alarm level. So yeah, I'm wondering if my new strategy of not knocking out every guard I find actually makes a lot of sense. Although, ah, my totes hardcore leap plan. I could knock this guy out in the next room and then just park Doctor Doctor Doolittle on him. Aha. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to do it on this turn now, I've got to wait a turn, but that's, that's a good idea, my brain! What's in here? Ooh! Oh god, yes! Oh, that is really good! And of course I don't have enough money for it, crap! Uh, can I sell a med gel? Oh god, I've got to get enough money to buy this now, because that sounds really good. That's a really good neural disruptor. Um... Oh, that sounds good too. I thought maybe if I could sell a med gel, I don't need two med gels necessarily. Wow. Whatever. What's in this room? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, heavy security. Ooh, dear. No, we don't want to tackle him. I don't think I actually can take him down. No. No, no, no. Let's not mess with him. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Oh yeah. Hack this thing. Ding. But again, I don't feel anything. I don't feel like there's anything this guy can really do this turn other than look around a bit. Uh. Nah, it's just my turn. Tense shit. Tense shit. Ding dong. I hope this is super exciting, me just being like, oh, I hope you just slowly walk around and pick shit up. Ooh. 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 Ding, ding, ding. Knockout. Fabulous. Now, you. How, how are we going to do this? Oh god, I keep forgetting which portrait. Don't accidentally do that thing I did before, which is forget which character you've selected. And then move the wrong character. Ooh, steal your shit. Ooh, oh. Oh, lovely. Oh, money! Yes, we need money. I'm not going to let you keep that pass card, though. I need to give it to someone uh, good. What I should do before I leave this level is see what Dr. Doolittle's special power does. Yes. I could talk about random stealth games I like they might not have played. Uh, I feel like I've talked about all the big ones. You know Snake Eater, you know... I did a thing about Sheepdog and Wolf once. Sheepdog and Wolf is like a stealth puzzle platformer. It's... what It, it might be my favourite game on the PlayStation ever. Even more so because no one's ever heard of it. Partly because it's got a terrible name, and partly because it came out really at that tail end of its generation where everyone was moving on to bigger and better things. A lot of people have bought a Dreamcast and then regretted their purchase and got a PS2 instead. Burn! But, uh, <laughs> no, the Dreamcast was great, it just really dead before its time, you know. It's the sort of thing that uh, I've just realised this has a demon in it. Eh, let's hack it. See what happens. Oh boy, that's fun. So those demons are basically like uh, a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. 
Uh. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. Well, I'll have that. But actually, uh, I want to trade with you. So you can have that, I'll have that. Yes, that works quite nicely. Although, you can't actually use that. But fuck it, you can just hold on. You can hold on to it with me. This is going to be what Dr. Doolittle is useful for. He's the pack mule and the guy who sits on people. He can slowly drag the guy around, at least. So it's not like he's just going to sit still for the rest of his life. Uh, <laughs> Close the door on him. I want to lock you in this room now, Dr. Doolittle. This, this poor guy, we rescued him. And now what we're doing is just dragging him around. But literally, he's dragging people around. Um, Drag. There you go. You can be our drag queen. Uh, uh. <laughs> I think that's all he can do. He's like, there you go. Thank you, Dr. Doolittle. Your, your services are appreciated. There's bugger all in this room. This is another cupboard, isn't it? Mm. It's gonna be even harder to like find places to cut the episodes for this recording, because last time I was actually saying things, whereas this time I'm like, oh, I really love uh, other games you've never heard of. Okay, let's get, sh let's get shit real now. Shit real as opposed to good real. Um... Can't go in there because there's some armor piercing dude. Not sure I can go. I haven't been in here and I haven't been in here, basically. This might work out okay though, because I'll explore and then by the time the demon runs out, I can actually use Dr. Doodle Hack stuff, maybe. We shall see. We shall see. This is me being ballsy though, this level, because I found what I need to find. I'm just exploring some more. I think once security level 3 and stuff starts happening, it might get more dangerous to actually hang around. Well, I know it will get more dangerous, but it's just a question of whether people start actually looking for me. And that's that turn, I think. I've just realised uh, she needs one more turn before her thing recharges, so it's actually quite dangerous to be um, walking around like this. But hey, we could do. You might as well stay there, Dr. Doolittle. There's very little else you can do. Being Doctor Do Little, <laughs> I can't remember how I started calling him Doctor Do Little, but now I'm so glad it's it's become my favourite thing about him. <laughs> His most memorable feature. Now I must remember, there's a guy in here who wanders around, so maybe I'll stick uh, Decker here over there. Yes, yes, yes. But I want to get there. Yes, this device is captured by a demon. Well, fuck you then. Uh. But sheepdog and wolf. <laughs> I have this horrible habit of being like, here's a conversation topic, and then getting con distracted, and then ten minutes later I'll pick up like nothing happened. Um, sheepdog and wolf is great because it's like you're a wolf, and you have to steal sheep. Every level you have to steal a sheep from the flock of sheep that's guarded by the sheepdog, and every level. There's some new... Well, it's either every level or every other level, they introduce some new tool you get to play with, like, um... You get this perfume that lures the sheep over, but you have to... You know, it has certain range, you have, to, you have to find a way to get close enough to lure the sheep without being seen by the dog. And then you have the flute which hypnotizes the dog, but then after that one level he gets earplugs. It's actually a really great gameplay moment, like, you beat the one level with the, um... With the, ma with the musical flute that hypnotizes the sheepdog. And then you're like, aha, now on the next level I can just use this overpowered flute to hypnotize him again. But if you walk over and try to use the flute, there's a little cutscene that plays where he like, glares at you and pulls out these earplugs and then just charges at you. <laughs> uh, so it's... Um, sheepdog Wolf is really underrated. Um, I feel like it has aged just because the controls are quite clunky to get used to. A lot of PlayStation games have that problem. But um, it is it is one of the few PlayStation games where I believe you can use the right analog stick to turn the camera. Not many games let you do that from my memory. Um, where the hell am I going and or doing? Where am I doing? In the butt? Da -da 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 -da. The best place. Uh, 
Ooh, what is that? A turret grid. Ooh. Oh. Oh, does this thing just like turn around and shoot you? Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Uh, I've got my um, superpower back, so I might. Okay. And now we play the what the hell can I do this turn game. Very little, it seems. I might as well go there, and then. Bing! These demons may be more trouble than they're worth, I'm deciding. I just know there's gonna be a demon that's like alert your presence to the entire place. Now this right here, this could have been nasty. If they'd activated all the security cameras before I was actually able to hack things, that could have been very bad. I like that they give you they give you one turn to get out of the way before the cameras come online. I can hack stuff. Oh god this one's got a demon in too. Yay Lovely. Sweet. Oh god, no! My laptop's like, you're installing updates in two seconds. No! Postponed for four hours. I'm in the middle of a thing, laptop. Well, I hate I hate how Norton comes on. It's like, I see you're rendering a video for two hours, so by my logic that means your computer is idle. Let me do some background checks. Like that. If, like, hardcore video rendering doesn't count as doing something, then what? <laughs> it confuses me, Norton. It does. Buster chip. Oh, I remember finding these in before. I don't have any anarchy, so fuck it. Uh, so that one was worthless. What about this one? Do, 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 do. I could talk about Mark of the Ninja, which is another good stealth game. I really like Mark of the Ninja. My main problem with it is, it's a very weird, simple control issue, but because it was originally a console game, they have a bunch of actions mapped to one button with like a modifier key so there are so many scenarios where it's like it's like either hide in bush or pick up body and loudly announce your presence oh did you mean loudly announce your presence <laughs> it's such a stupid problem to have in this day and age you know this is why I hate games that don't let you rebind your keys in any way because I'm like give me the option even if you think you've got the Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Even if you think you've got the perfect control scheme, why would you not give me the option to rebind keys? I don't understand that. Uh, oh, this is kind of awkward. I have to drop the body, close the door, and then drag the security guard. <laughs> yes, this is a good use of my time. Um, now, does that have a demon? Yes, it does. Does that have a demon? Oh, this is interesting. You can hack the turret system itself, which I would imagine lets you shoot people, but that'd be very loud, so let's not do that. Oh. Minus two firewalls broken. Eh. I'm not sure that actually affects me, or if it just means... I wonder if that means I just can't break firewalls for one turn, let's see. Demon database. Blowfish. Okay. Oh, that's got a blowfish in it. I see. Okay, I see. I understand now. <laughs> like blowfish. <laughs> I was just, I was just trying to. My brain was to just encounter this unfamiliar like word that seemed completely random out of context. I'm like, oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Blowfish. Oh yeah, I, I needed to find the uh, teleporter, didn't I? So it's a good thing I thought to uh, do that before going loud. Yeah, right, well, who's this? This is just a regular guard over there. I might as well, um... Yeah, right, okay, okay, I think I've got this down now. There's a guy in here. There's a guy in here. He's like a super guard. We don't want to mess with him. I've hacked this so the turret's offline now, so that's no longer a concern. I reckon I might as well knock that guy out, because there's probably some stuff in that room I could use, yes. Let's see if opening the door gets his attention. No. Let's give a cheeky peek. Cheeky peek peek. Cheeky peek 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 peek. <laughs> Just making nonsense sounds now. That's what most of my videos degenerate into. This is still like the quickest mission I've done so far though. Because I'm being ballsy. I'm like, oh yeah. I'm gonna go and do stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna 
do stuff. That pillar, that pillar wasn't there. Um, now where is he? Ooh. Ooh. Here's the question: Does this block his view? I think so. I think so. <laughs> Uh, uh. You didn't see a thing. Oh, that's a camera. Oh, I see. Oh, there's another camera. There's another camera. Oh, God, I'm going to need a. <laughs> I think there's very. <laughs> There's actually nothing down here other than that one terminal, which I'd have to get right up close to hack. God's sake. I think that means there's nothing worth staying in this level for, because it's only that terminal and that. I mean, I might as well go and knock him out at this point, really, but, um... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I suppose that's a point. It might still be worth looting these guys to see what they've got. Yes, you, you. Can you run while you're... Yes, okay, you can run there. There we go. And then... You, you... I know what you're doing next turn. You, though! I might as well knock these guys, these guards out and steal their stuff, I reckon. I'm wondering if this is the more intelligent way to approach this dude. Yeah, I'll leave all the doors open. Ah, yes, next turn I shall get you. Uh, next turn then. Ooh, exciting. Ooh! <laughs> I thought he was going to come through that door there, I was very scared. Um, right then, here we go. Uh, Is he definitely... am I actually seeing him? He's not just... yeah, that's not just a ghost, I see. There we go, okay. Da -da 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 -da. Hello, you go. <laughs> Predictive brawling. Oh yeah, that gives him a bunch of AP, doesn't it? Yeah, cool. Ooh, nom. Oh yeah, that's for armor-piercing weapons, right? Okay. Yes, I should have enough money now to buy... this thing. Wait a minute, drop the guard, there we go. Drop your guard, ha 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 Chameleon movement. What? Oh, does you, do you get... Yeah, I was thinking the name was confusing me there, I was like, ooh, chameleon. But, um, no, I think it gives... Cloak? Eh? What? It's confusing me. That's confusing me a lot. <laughs> the description of that weapon, is that, that item, is not making it clear what it does. I think it just gives you 6 AP after you've cloaked, which is quite handy, but... Um, I do really like how your weapon places... Your, your inventory is very limited, unless you... You spend a lot of money leveling up how much stuff you can carry, which, which seems to be worth doing. But, um... Yes, hack that shit. I have my suspicions that the power carries between levels. I haven't quite actually confirmed this yet. Might as well take you with me, I cannot run. It's kind of confusing how you can only run if you have full AP. I tend to forget that. Now, here's the question. Uh, I might as well just... I was like, what, what was that just now? And then I'll make her... I should have checked she was actually capable of ambushing first, really, shouldn't I? What is the ambush button? Is it A? No. It's possible I've forgotten what button is ambush. Oh god, that just closes the door in his face! <laughs> um... Uh... 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 To the control screen! Da -da 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 -da. Ambush. Toggle ambush. M! I was never going to remember that, was I? There we go. Ambush. 